What is up? Thanks for watching another episode of Outdoors for a Change. I'm Matt. We are on our way, my family and I are on our way to an epic 10-day Upper Peninsula fishing extravaganza. Well, at least I'll be fishing. We're going to do all kinds of fishing up there. I am planning on catching, at least I hope to catch, uh, a muskie, also some walleye, and we'll see if we can get some pike and some perch along the way too. And I will be out on Lake Michigan. Hopefully, I'll we'll catch some salmon. At least I'll try to catch some salmon. It'll be my first time fishing on uh, Lake Michigan uh, on the kayak, so I'm looking forward to it, but I'm a little nervous. Uh, we have a long trip ahead of us. We got about a what, four hour, five hour drive. I have my navigator, Kaylee, here. She doesn't want to be on the channel yet. I'll talk her into it sooner or later. Uh, we are on our way to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Thanks for tuning in. All right, made it up to our campground. It's a bit of a drive, four and a half hours, five hour drive. We crossed the Mackinac Bridge. That was fun. And uh, so uh, we drove probably another 50 miles or so down Highway 2. If you're familiar with the Upper Peninsula, it's a beautiful stretch. And uh, now we're here. Now one of the cool things about camping with the entire family is we have helpers, lots of helpers. And they're busy putting uh, the camp together right now. Now one of the bad things about going camping with so many people is that uh, we run out of space and have to rent a U-Haul to get up here. We've been renting a U-Haul the last 10 years to get everything we need up here. I mean, look how much stuff we bring up. Car camping galore, look at all this. Look at all this. Oh, we need every bit of it too. Every time we try to thin things down, it, we just, get more stuff it seems so we have to rent a u-haul at least we can still fit it in the van sooner or later we'll have to get a truck up here probably all right kathy's got our tent almost up and what are you girls doing we are untying our tent. don't expect any money for being on outdoors for a change we don't pay our guests. Why not? <laughs> because I have 20 subscribers, that's why. <laughs> already done. Are you laughing at my 20 subscribers? No, I'm laughing at that. They're not done yet, and I am. Yeah, your tent went up quick. All right, camp set up. I was hoping to get some fishing in, but there just wasn't time. A lot of work putting camp up. We're just down to the beach right now. This is home base for the next 10 days. It's real hard to take. We're going for a walk along the beach. Kathy and our granddaughter, Kaylee and uh, Abigail are uh, walking with us. We're gonna play some Frisbee up here. Now to me, this is a 10 day fishing challenge where I'm going after muskie and lake trout, and salmon and walleye and all those beautiful game fish. But to the rest of my family, they're going to do a lot of what? Swimming? Beach time? Beach time. Beach time. I'm the fisherman of the family. So they'll do some fishing. But they're not gung-ho about it like I am. What I have to figure out is when I can go out on the lake. Because I don't want to go out if it's real choppy. 
I just have a, a ten and a half foot kayak. I don't want to go out there and die on my first time out in Lake Michigan. I hope to catch uh, lake trout out there, maybe salmon. It gets real deep by the rocks. I don't know what's down there. I, I have to imagine that there's some pretty big fish. Uh, I'm looking forward to fishing it. I'm a little nervous fishing a body of water this big. I've never fished anything this big. I've never fished Lake Michigan on the water. I've always been in a, on the pier or from the shore. Never really caught anything in the lake either. So I'm looking forward to changing that. And uh, this, place is, uh, this place is a special place to me. It's going to become a lot more special if I can launch my kayak from camp and go out and catch lake trout and salmon right there in Lake Michigan. But well, we'll see. That's, uh, that's the goal. We're back at camp and we're going to try to make some blueberry pie using our Dutch oven. I preheated it a bit and I buttered it down so it doesn't stick. It needs more seasoning. Now Abigail my faithful helper, my wife. We're going to make some pie. Abby, why don't you bring that pie filling over here? All right, bring another one. All right, this is just this is just a 21 ounce can of blueberry pie filling. Nothing fancy. Meyer's finest. Thank you, Abigail. So, and then we just take a cake mix. This is, uh, you can use any cake mix, I guess. This is a white premium cake mix from Pillsbury. And uh, just dump the whole thing in there. Watch out, don't touch the pan is all. Okay. Look at that. I think we're making pie. All right, and then we'll spread that out a little bit. And put the lid on. Once it starts boiling up like that, you can take it off the bottom heat. And now we gotta cook from the top. So now we just wait for the uh, the cake mix to brown. Simple enough. See you in a minute. All right, when it warms up, this is what it looks like. We mix it up a little bit. Cake mix and uh, Pie filling, I guess that makes uh, blueberry pie when you're camping, huh? Uh, let's see what it tastes like. Here we go. That's pretty good. You want some, Abby? What do you think? You having fun camping? Mm -hmm. This tastes like blueberry pie? Mm -hmm. I think it tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Alright, blueberry pie! Seems to be a hit! <laughs> well, good morning. I'm on the top of Michigan today. Hunting musky. I'm at the legendary Dollarville flooding. Well, I just found out a forgot my wire to the fish finder so I can't use that today it's probably a good thing it's not real deep out here let's get fishing Well, that turned out to be a waste of time. Six hour drive to get up here. I get out there, the wind's blowing me all over the marsh. I don't know where to fish. Chatter baits are falling off my line, breaking off my line. I'm getting tangled every cast. Had one big smallmouth hit. 
my bait at the, the kayak one time and that was it. I don't know where to fish this place. I'm extremely frustrated right now. This is supposed to be a hobby. How am I gonna make YouTube channels without fish? I mean, five, six hour drive, that's a long way to go to catch no fish. I can stay at home and get shut out. I'm super frustrated right now. I feel like quitting selling my kayak and selling all my gear. I hate this feeling. I got like 15 subscribers. I'm trying to get something going. I can't even get a video. I can't even catch a fish. Super frustrating. I'm out of Lake Michigan right now, right on the shore. I'm not very far. Haven't been able to get much fishing in so far. I've been doing a lot of family stuff. But uh, I'm going to do some fishing this evening right here uh, on the shore of uh, Lake Michigan. First time I've ever been out kayaking in it. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of crayfish in this area and what happens is all the crayfish is coming forward and there's a drop off right here and I'm thinking that casting a crankbait with my medium act medium fast action rod can you see that okay probably not with this uh, square bill crankbait that looks like a uh, that should do pretty good. I think it will. We'll see. <laughs> 